Hello everyone, my name is Alex, and I'm from China. In this video, I will show you the power plants in China. The thing is like this, my friend took over the inspection business of a diesel generator set. The staff can't arrange it, so I'm asked to help. I have time recently, so I went. This client is a large power plant in Zhangzhou City, Fujian Province, and the anchor is in Shenzhen. The distance is about 500 kilometers. Then I need to take the high-speed rail to this power plant in Zhangzhou City, Fujian Province. I got up early on Monday morning and went to the high-speed rail station in Shenzhen to take the high-speed train. After spending two hours and twenty one minutes, I finally came to Zhangzhou City, Fujian Province. I also need to travel one hour by car to reach this power plant. After arriving at the power plant, we still can't get in. We need to go through some formalities for approval, safety training, and vocational skills exams. OMG I can't believe it. But since we are here, we must do this job well. So we conducted three days of training and three exams. The first exam was production safety and electricity safety. The second exam is a department level exam, which is a safety and production process specification. The third test is the team skills test. It took three days, and there was a test in the middle that I failed, and I felt miserable. 90 points out of 100 were passed. 
Fortunately, I passed the makeup exam the next day. It made me feel like I was a student again. It's so funny to think about it now. In the end, I passed three exams and got the approval documents for admission. I finally entered this large power plant. Tested the diesel generator set in their factory and recorded the relevant parameters. Finally, the machine was started and tested, and everything was in good condition. It only took me one day to do this, and a lot of time was wasted on approval procedures, safety training, safety exams, and skill exams. Of course, this is a good sign. These rules and regulations can prevent some production safety accidents. This shows that the Chinese government has attached great importance to production safety. As far as I know, if the factory does not produce in accordance with relevant regulations and systems, it will be subject to administrative punishment by the government. Such as suspension of production for rectification, administrative punishment, deadline for rectification and so on. The purpose of my video is to meet some business people and find new business opportunities. I will show various aspects of China in the video, so that you can understand China better. Understand China's business situation, understand China's market and products and business culture. China is currently the second largest economy in the world, why should we not get to know her? I think that as a business person, any ideology is shit, and only interests are eternal. I'm Alex from China, and I do a video channel about China's business information. See you next video.